Hi, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Lane Stamper. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and today um, I'm going to show you another one of the bundles that is in our 2018 Occasions Catalog, which runs from January 2nd to March 31st. And this is called the Sweet Soiree. I believe in French, soiree means party. So, um, that's the, the sweet name, actually, and this is so beautiful, it actually takes up two pages in the catalog. Um, it comes with, if you buy the bundle, or the stamp set even individually, um, the stamp set has two cases, and then the sweet cake framelits also come with it if you buy the bundle, which will save you 10%. So, um, today we're going to make a wedding card. I'm having class in a couple weeks, and one of my friends that attends, I ask her from time to time, because she usually just makes cards, um, what she would like for the next time. And she said, well, she had a wedding coming up. So I said, well, I'm going to find a wedding card, and that's what we're going to do. So today we are going to make a wedding card. And I am using an uh, eight and a half by five and a half piece of smoky slate scored at four and a quarter. We're going to use a piece of whisper white. Actually, we'll use two because I'll get another one for the inside. And that is four by five and a quarter. And did I say eight and a half by five and a quarter? I meant eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Um, I have fibromyalgia, so I do have a little brain fog from time to time. We're also going to use another piece of Whisper White that is three by two and three fourths. We're going to use a piece of silver foil that is also three by two and three fourths. And one of my favorite products that they've come out with in the last year is this um, permanent multi-purpose adhesive sticks and when I'm using a die that's intricate like this I love it because then I don't have to worry about using um, like fine tip glue pens or anything like that I will run a little bit of, of multi-purpose glue probably around the top um, but it really is easier to stick with and so we're going to use the die for the cake plate and the cake stand and then we're also going to stamp and cut out the cake itself. So let's get going. We're going to start with stamping the cake. Oh, and we're going to use a, a doily too. Now we're going to use our this piece of Whisper White and I'm going to use the stamp from case number one, which is the stamp here. And First time I've used this stamp. I have used other ones in that set. And we're going to use um, a size D clear block for this. And because this is the clear rubber or the clear stamps, the red foam rubber stamps, we won't need to be using the um, paper piercing mat like we normally do with our photopolymer. So we're going to stamp that really good. And so it's a really nice light gray, which I think is very elegant looking. Now if you want it a little darker, you could use the basic gray. And I can show you what that would look like. Just, the basic gray is archival. So, it's like our black archival stamp. So we'll just see how this one looks and maybe we'll change our mind. Hmm, what do you think? I'm going to go with the original, I think. So, we'll set those two aside. And then, we're going to go cut that out in the big shot in a minute. We are going to use the multi-purpose adhesive strip. And the easiest way I have found to peel this off if you're using a piece and it's not from the edge 
is to take your paper piercer and just kind of catch a corner of it, peel it off, and the side that's got the printing on is going to be your sticky side. So we're going to just adhere this to the back of our silver foil. And then I am going to go cut these pieces out. This card is going to go together really quick. And I'll be right back. And we are back. We have cut out our cake. That's there. And our cake stand. And here's that. And I also forgot to tell you that we were cutting out this ribbon to go on top of the cake. So I need to punch out these little pieces here. This is my fingers. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship sometimes with my, my big shot, I tell you. I laid these pieces down and then I decided to tape the cake plate down so I lifted up my plate and then I couldn't find this piece. Well, if you have any experience with getting the the um, framelits from, from Stampin' Up, they come in a white sheet with really sticky glue and this actually has just a tiny bit on it and it stuck to my plate and I couldn't find it for a second so <laughs> it drove me crazy. Oh, that happens to me all the time. What did I do with that? I just had it here. So we're gonna put this together. Now here, let's see, we are going to use our brush See if I can find that. Our big shot brush, and we're just going to try to get some of these pieces from this die out of here. And you can do both sides. And sometimes you just have to use your paper piercer. So sometimes with the adhesive multi-purpose adhesive glue it doesn't like to come out as well but usually it will come out when you peel it off so let's peel this off and we are going to put this let's see let's get our card here I'm gonna put this on here first one of my hairs Oh, yeah. I also just found out I have Sjogren's, which I had never heard of before. I've been down at the Mayo Clinic, spent two weeks down there. I get to go next week again, spend another week down there with doctors. I had six appointments in one day. Let me tell you, I've never seen so many doctors in my whole life. Then we are going to burnish this edge. And we're going to, now you could actually use some of that adhesive strip too for this doily, but I am going to just use some, I think I'm going to use some glue dots. Let's see, where did I put them? We're just going to stick a few on here. You could use tear and tape, um, whatever you prefer, multi-purpose glue. I know there's usually not a right or wrong thing here. And we're going to stick one in the middle. Whoops. And we're going to place that right about here. Because we're also going to stamp a greeting underneath. And I'm going to put my plate on the cake stand. I'm going to peel this off. And most of our little pieces came out, except for this little one here. And I am going to, let's see, first of all, I'm going to put the base on here. Like I said, you can just use your paper piercer to catch an edge and pull it off. And this will go under here. Try to center it. 
Let's see, I'm going to set this down there. I hope my key will fit on top. Yep. There. And I'm actually going to use some dimensionals on the cake. Give it that 3D effect. off quickly and place that I want some of that ridge to show there there and then put our little bow on top for cake there and all we have to do now is to stamp our sentiment. And because this is a wedding cake, let's see. I think we're going to stamp best wishes for you. My little box here. And for this, I think I am going to use the basic gray because we do want this to, to show up. There. And you could use, actually use a different sentiment and um, use it for a birthday card. And there is, on this one, if you stamp happy birthday, you can usually use, it looks like a cake topper, and you can just stick it in the top of the cake, or you could use celebrate, and you could stamp for you on there, but we're going to use it like this. So anyway, um, that's our card for today. I'll put a white piece inside. I was going to show you a couple other cards that I've made with this same set. We had a challenge with our team to use these Tutti Frutti um, sequins from the Occasions catalog, and so I came up with this. This is a, a piece of the DSP that comes with the Sweet Soiree. Um, I think it's called the Sweet Soiree paper. Let me just check to be sure. Um, let's see up here. Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer paper. Um, each of these, they are just gorgeous. They have foil effect on one side and then they have a, a pattern on the other side that you can use for any every every other day, any any occasion actually. So I love this paper. And as you can see, there is a, a little cake there. So I came up with this one. And actually, I won a prize with our team. So um, it's actually a drawing, so it wasn't on design or anything. And then this one, I, I came up with this morning, and I made a birthday card and uh, stamped this with uh, the memento now, and I used the blender pen. So if you're going to use the blender pens, you have to use the memento ink. Uh, and one word of caution, um, or a tip, I guess, is when you're using the blender pens, they will bleed to the other side of the paper. So make sure you don't have your card stock on top of something um, that you're going to use. So then I just open this and it says, May your day be as wonderful, or May your day be as wonderful as you are. Happy birthday. I guess I was reading that right. And I just stamped a little flower on the bottom. So those are a couple other ideas that you can use for your set. And I appreciate you watching and subscribing. I hope that if you do subscribe that you consider buying from my store, which is SharonBrennan.StampinUp.net. I will put it at the bottom of the screen. And I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today. Oh, and I will have all the dimensions and the supplies that I used on my blog, CottageLaneStamper.StampinUp, or sorry, <laughs> CottageLaneStamper at blogspot.com. And uh, thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this. And 
Have a blessed day. Hi, I'm back. After looking at this card, I thought this uh, Best Wishes was a little plain. So I wanted something a little bit um, more elegant, I guess, for this card. So I remembered I had this stamp set called Special Celebrations, and it also is a two-case stamp set. And it's got a lot of beautiful sentiments for birthday cards. Um, for babies and for weddings. So I've decided to um, use this stamp for a special couple and I stamped it in the um, basic gray and I attached it to some foil and I'm going to trim down the edges there and on the inside I have stamped side by side together stand heart to heart hand in hand a very special dream comes true, beginning with the words, I do, and then simply congratulations underneath that. So um, this is just another idea for this card, and uh, this stamp set is in the annual catalog, and I will put all of the um, dimensions and supplies on my uh, blog, cottagelanestamper.blogspot.com. And thank you for uh, stopping in today. Um, I really appreciate all my subscribers. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. So thank you so much. God bless you.